We are going to do homework 7.2. Um, and it is about uh, z-score and uh, the how to find probability based on z-score and how to find z-score based on probability. Now, before you start doing homework about z-score, I highly recommend to watch the video and uh, the, about normal probability distribution. It's in statistics underscore lectures and you will find their normal probability distribution. And that's where you will find an uh, understanding of z-score and understanding of uh, the how to find probability based on z-score. There are two ways to find probability based on z-score. One is based on table, just like you have here. I'm clicking here and I have uh, explained in the lecture, there is specific topic, z-score. I explain how to find and why we have one is negative uh, z-score and one is positive z-score here. And uh, I might place uh, the link uh, to these uh, video lectures uh, under this video uh, in the comments and I will pin them so you can use it. And the other option is to use StatCrunch. I'm going to show you StatCrunch since uh, there is a, a recording how to use uh, manually Z-score. So here I'm going to use StatCrunch. So how are we gonna work on it? So we have find the area to the right of Z-score equal negative 0.61. Okay, going to StatCrunch, I'm clicking Stat, Calculator, and then going to normal, here it is, normal. So this is what I have. So since you are not given me at the mean and standard deviation, uh, so by standard values, we are choosing mean is zero, standard deviation is one. And uh, we leave that alone and we need to find uh, area to the right, z-score negative 0 0.61. So area to the right, why we put the, it's x, but uh, we use the value of z-score because z-score represent that x value. So it's gonna be negative 0.61. Compute. And we are getting here to the right because we chose to, to the right, the area is coming here. And look here, when uh, uh, on the graph where you see this uh, zero on the graph, it says X, that's where the mean and median on bell-shaped graph, it's uh, at, uh, overlapping each other. That's uh, where it's splitting. To the uh, right, it's going to be negative numbers you see of Z-score, and to the right, it's positive because we have to the right. And Z-score is negative, therefore it's starting... Uh, less than zero for starting z-score negative from negative 0 0.61 and to the right. And the answer is how many uh, we have to keep, I think four decimals, 0 0.7290. Yeah, four decimals, 0. Point. What was that? Forgot, hold on one second, 7290. 7290. Okay. 7290. Bingo. Okay. Next one. Area also to the right, 0 0.94. This time we have positive. So I'm not changing sign. All I am changing is the value of this score, 0 0.94. compute and we are getting since 9 fourths it's positive that's why you see one it's a little bit less than one 0 0.94 and to the right and we answer we get 0 0.1736 so 0 0.1 okay well done uh, oh, again, to the right, negative 0 0.15. Well, I guess you can do it. I'll do this one also, all right. Mm. Negative 0 0.15. 
zero point five five nine six. Okay. So let's move, okay, well, I'm not doing any more, uh, so you can uh, do it already. Moving to next question. Uh, what is next one? Uh, between, the area between Z is negative 51 and Z positive 0, 051. Okay, let's go there. In between, see here I'm clicking between. See, standard, between. When I click between, it shows between here. See, I have uh, two of them, between, negative, um, zero point fifty one, and positive zero point fifty one, and click compute, and we are getting zero point three eight nine nine. 0 0.3899 okay well and so on so negative let me do this one also and i'll move to next one negative 1.61 and 0 negative 1 point here is going to be only 61 61 and here is zero we have was it one point ah one point i'm sorry okay and zero and we are getting zero point four four six three Good. So I'm not doing the rest. You can do it already. You know how to do it. Number three. What do we have here? X is greater than. Oh, okay. So look here. We have already. Mean is 50. Standard deviation is 7. So it's not standard 0 and 1. So I'm typing mean is 50. Uh, do we need less, more, ah, greater than, so it's a standard one, not between. So it was, oh, well, I can do it like that. I don't need to go. Come on. Okay. So mu is 50, standard deviation is 7. Let's put it. Mu is 50. And standard deviation is 7. And we need to find the value of x greater than 37. And we are getting... So if you uh, watch the lecture, you will understand one, why X or Z score, why still put in the same spot, because Z score represent X. So it's gonna be, uh, how much? Uh, 9684. Okay, it wants the graph. It's gonna be like this one, start less than 40, okay. Less than 40, this one. Oh, it doesn't want. Oh, here it is. Uh, it was how much? Nine, six, eight, four. Okay. Good choice. Moving to next question B. 
the fact that it says x is less than 40, I am looking with it uh, without even graph. Here is 40, so less than 40 looks like it's going to be b. Pretty straightforward. And to find the, this area, uh, 54 is mu, 80 is sigma. Let me see. Eight is uh, sigma, and how much was that? Uh, 54, okay. Fifty-four, and we need to find what x is less equal forty. Okay, so this is gonna be forty and less equal. Okay, and we got zero point zero four zero one zero point. So it's zero four zero one. Let's write down. And so on. So let me see other questions. Number five. Okay, it's going to be the same. So in between, then you put X in between. Choose the between and put in between. Six also going to be the same. What is it? Ah, now we need to find the Z-score. Let me do this one. Now here is probability given 0, 0.75. We need to find the Z-score. And we need to find left, to the left. Okay, 0 0.75 which means we need to find to the left uh, and this time we put here probability 0 0.75 okay and uh, in this case mean uh, is gonna be zero because it's not given it's standard it's gonna be one every time when we use z-score um, probability uh, and z-score we need to use mean zero and uh, devi deviation is one so we are getting result 0 0.6745 so uh, z-score is going to be 0 0.67 i would put because this score we use only two values 0 0.64 Oops, why is it incorrect? Let's see what we, did I put something? Okay, six, seven. Oh, here it is. Six, seven. Okay, we're good. All right, and next one, uh, right tail area, zero thirty-seven right tail, which means uh, it's given probability 0, 0.37 and uh, right tail, which is going to be greater than, and we are getting 0 0.33. So, next we are doing question number eight. So, let's solve. Find the value of Z alpha where alpha is 0 0.32. Let me explain this real quick. Z alpha is equal Z 0 0.32. 0 0.32 is your probability. Where is our probability 0 0.32? We said this is 50, lowest 50% from zero to 50, and here from 50% to 99.7%, right? Okay, so 0 0.32, it's gonna be somewhere here, here. This is probability, the area, right? Accordingly, the z-score is gonna be negative, correct? Okay, so um, how are we gonna do? We need to find uh, this negative z-score and because uh, alpha is identifying uh, our critical value of z-score so and critical value always going to be positive so we just find negative value of z-score and then flip the sign and get this positive one oops 
And uh, once we find it, we're gonna flip and get positive Z score because it's gonna be symmetric always. So let's see, I'm going to go now to find uh, probability uh, less than 32, the 0, 32. Uh, here is that crunch. Okay, uh, stat, uh, calculation, where is it, normal? Okay, we're gonna find less than zero point. Uh, oh, I need to use it for probability here, of course. Let me clean this. Okay, and here I have to enter zero point. 32, and I'm using less than because we have on the left side, right? And compute. Come on, there we go. We are getting a value of z-score negative 0 0.47. But because, like I said, hold on, negative here, 0 0.47. But because alpha identify critical value, again, I will refer you to the lecture to watch it. So we are going to use positive 0 0.37. This 0 0.32, it's gonna be, both areas are the same because the area cannot be positive, negative, but we, uh, for as a critical value, we use positive. So the answer is gonna be positive 0 0.47. Good job. Let me do one more. So again, it gives you value of Z alpha. Alpha, it's identify, that's the area for Z critical. Where That's where, um, okay, let me, uh, a few words uh, real quick explain. 0 0.084. What it means, this is the limit This is the limit, let's say, um, you are a business owner and uh, you are delivering uh, some product and it's allowed only 0 0.084, which is 8.4% uh, to be uh, spoiled of the product, let's say, that's what it means. So, uh, and this score is gonna be for critical value and it's limited by critical value. Critical value is going to be positive since area is small, which is less than it's less than fifty percent. Therefore, we are going to uh, find negative z score and then flip the sign and get the positive. Let's do it. Zero point zero eight four. Okay, it's going to be. Less equal uh, zero eight four. Okay, entering and I'm getting negative one point three seven uh, three eight negative one point three eight, which is I'm flipping sign. I'm getting positive one point three eight. Okay, one point three eight. All right, so I think I uh, I won't uh, do, oh, we are done. Okay, then even better. So we are good. I'll see you next uh, video.